Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel called Sew Notes. Alright, before we get started in today's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your comments, your likes, and your constructive uh, feedback. I really, really appreciate it. And I think because you take the time out of your day to watch my YouTube videos, I need to take your constructive criticism seriously. And it only makes me grow bigger and stronger and helps me potentially grow my channel and make beautiful videos for you to watch. So I just want to say that I've done a ton of research on video software, video editing, and I'm happy to say that this is going to be my very first video that I create that I'm going to insert some pictures on the side here. How exciting. In my previous software, I would have to pause my video, insert a picture, and then re resume my video. But I hope, I'm hoping for this video, I have high hopes for it, that I'm going to be able to insert the picture as I'm talking about it. So, let's get started. This video is a pattern review and it's all about the Sapporo, Sapporo, I hope I'm saying that right, the Sapporo coat by Paper Cut Patterns. And actually I'm wearing it right now, the striped that you see, I'm wearing my coat right now and I'm really excited uh, because this is my first make of 2021. I did start it in 2020, but I made sure to finish it in 2021 so that I could start the year off on a strong note. All right, so it's a Sapporo coat by Paper Cut Patterns. We'll just do a quick uh, pattern review and then I'll talk about it. Uh, the size range, I'm looking down at my notes. The size range, it comes in sizes one to eight and that's a bust of 30 inches to 46 and a half inches and a hip of 32 and a quarter inch to 48 and three quarters of an inch. So if you wanna know that in centimeters, the bust is 76 to 118 centimeters and the hip is 82 to 124 centimeters. All right. So for this pattern, I made a size two, but my measurements actually fall in the size four. But after reading a lot of pattern reviews and seeing a lot of pictures, this is definitely an oversized coat and I didn't want it to be that oversized. So I sized down to a size two, but remember my body measurements are a bust 36, waist 31, and hips are 38. And that puts me at a size four, but I did the size two. I made no pattern adjustments. I just made it straight off of the PDF pattern. Um, the fabric I used, this, this outside fabric is a wool acrylic uh, Lurex blend. And this is from Minerva Crafts. So thank you Minerva Crafts for the fabric. And then that lining is, uh, it's called Kasha lining and it is from Fabricville. And it is a mix of poly cotton. So it's satin on this side. And then, oh, here I have a little sample. And then this is what it looks like on the back side. So this, this lining is really good for the colder months like where I live because it adds warmth with that cotton back, that cotton backside, it adds some warmth. So that's the fabric that I used. Um, the construction process, let's talk about the construction process. It was fairly easy except I'm a very visual learner and if, if instructions, if word instructions don't match what the picture says, I get a little bit confused. So I talked to my friend uh, Tanya uh, from Detasio Fashion by Tanya. I'll leave a little thing there for her Instagram handle so you could check her out. But she had just, she had just posted one right when I started cutting out my fabric. And so I messaged her, I was like, ah, I'm confused about how to do the neck facing or the neck yeah the neck facing back here um you attach it to one side and then you attach it to the other side and then you flip it over so if you need help with that in the future when you're sewing that you could come uh, message me and i could help you through that but my friend tanya she helped me out through that thank you so much tanya i appreciated uh, your help and then a bit of attaching the lining to the jacket just the pictures 
confused me a bit. So I messaged her. I showed her a video. I said, this is what I'm working on. Am I doing a good job here? And she let me know that I was doing a good job and I knew what I was doing. So other than my little confusion on the neck facing and just attaching the lining, it was a smooth sew. Um, the only tricky part or the part that I stressed out the most about was um, my inspiration for the stripes of this coat came from So North on Instagram. So I will give her a little thing there so you could see her Instagram account. But she made one a few years back and she uh, cut her, so her back, her back pieces are cut on grain. And then my front top panel is cut cross grain. And then my pocket is cut on the bias and so what I did was I did exactly what So North did and she interfaced her bias cut pieces so my front my front pocket pieces these are all um, interfaced to give them so they wouldn't stretch out I would say this is a qu fairly quick sew I tried my best to sew this one really quick because uh, it did fray. It, this is, um, I would, it's kind of a loose weave. So it was fraying quite a bit after I cut it. So I made sure to get the outer shell done quickly to stop all the fraying because I didn't want to lose my seam allowance in the, um, in the fraying. As you could see, those stripes are quite, um, thick so when you lose a stripe you lose or when you lose a piece of fabric you lose a bit of um, your seam allowance when when it starts to fray it's quite thick thick woven fabric so uh, you could lose your seam allowance quite quickly so I, I, I made sure to sew this up quickly so it wouldn't fray uh, and I'm happy I'm very happy that I sized down even my husband thinks it's still oversized but it's that's the style of this coat and I'm happy that I did do the size 2 instead of the size 4 I think the size 4 I just would have been swimming in but I'm just really proud of this make it's I think it's a good start to my motivation for 2021 one of my goals for 2021 is hand stitching so I had to hand stitch the lining and you could see right there is where I hand stitched the lining and I took my time and I think I did a wonderful job if you could see projects from three years ago about hand stitching oh they were terrible but I made sure to slow down and do a wonderful job for uh, my hand stitching um, that's all I have for I'm just checking my notes here uh, that's all I have for um, for my notes for my pattern review I went through the size will I make it again I don't know I might I don't need too many of these I might make a lighter version because this is the with the lining for winter so I might make a lighter version if I make it again, the alterations I would do is I would deepen the pockets. I don't, I feel like the pockets aren't that deep. If I could stand back, that's how deep the pocket is. My hand's right at the end of the pocket. So I would deepen the pockets and I would potentially lengthen the sleeves. This is a, I like the sleeve length for work. It's a good length for work. If I wanted to wear it as a coat to go outside, I might lengthen the sleeves and potentially add maybe one button to close it. But this is going to be like a work, I'll wear it to work inside. And uh, I'm just really happy with this. I hope that you enjoyed this pattern review. I hope that I have good pictures on the side so you could see. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, if you like this video and like what I've done with the pictures, please give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.